Go ahead. My name is Jeff Shantz. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Criminology here at Quantum Polytechnic University. I'm going to talk a little bit about housing and social justice in Surrey, where I live and teach. Housing is widely recognized as a fundamental human right, yet we see at all levels of government in the Canadian context that the Canadian, that Canadian governments are violators of this fundamental human right. We see this in terms of the support for housing as commodity for profit. We also see it in terms of support for developments that lead to evictions. We see it also in attacks on people who are homeless, who are trying to house themselves through tent cities and other projects. If we look at Surrey, we can see this at different levels. On the one hand, gentrification, social cleansing, the conversion of low-income housing in single-room occupancy hotels in the Wally neighborhood into higher-end condo developments. So we have hotels shut down and turned into uh, micro condos, small units selling for three, $300,000. We see it also in the eviction of residents in trailer parks. If we go south on King George, these are some of the few remaining uh, lower cost uh, affordable housing units available in Surrey. Over the last two years, we've seen three trailer parks uh, evicted, shut down, tenants, uh, residents thrown on the streets, and very soon after those parks are posted as upcoming townhouse and condo developments at very high end prices. We see this also in terms of the attacks that occur on people who are trying to house themselves in tent cities, in Wally, for example, where bylaw enforcement come along and regularly harass people, steal their belongings, discard their possessions. We see it on the targeting of people in a smaller tent city near Newton Exchange in a small patch of grass. These attacks come from police and from bylaw enforcement, and oftentimes they use the moral panic excuse of concern over drugs or sex work targeting survival strategies of poor people as reason to go in and shut down their housing. This needs to be opposed at all levels. We need to support people who are facing eviction. We need to challenge governments that are working to support developers over human needs. And we need to support people who are homeless and trying to house themselves.